I took me a little break, ate some chicken nuggets, got myself a little bit of coffee, and I'm ready to see part two. Well, everybody, it seems like Jay is really, really gonna go at it right now because her part two is out and I'm gonna watch it with you. She titled this video about this phone bill. It is way deeper than a pen. All facts, part two. Y'all ready? So let's talk about this pen situation because I don't trust you. The trust was, was gone. I had respect. I still had to have respect even though you had been harassing me, bro. I'm here with Yo, who am I? Go by Jay. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not. And if you missed my reaction to part one, at the end of this video, you can go ahead and click onto it. When Tanika met me, I was 18 years old, around that age. She was around my age I'm at right now. It sucks, unfortunately, that the way our life... Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So she was... Duh, that makes sense if I did the math. So she was 18 at the time. Nick was already a grown adult, 24, 25, 26 years old. She expected Jay to be Miss Independent and, and be on her shit. She just, she's just 18, she's still a baby. How, how, how do you expect her to have her life together at that age? So you really didn't really help her, she was growing. She was growing up. <laughs> Lives were that I didn't have to go through things that she was going through at her age, at that time, which would be my age at this time. It's unfortunate, right? It's unfortunate. And I'm gonna say this outside of that. Don't ever let anybody, I don't care if it's your cousin, your mama, your friend, your ex, your husband, don't let nobody ever make you feel like you can't go to your daddy house. Your daddy house, your grandma house, whoever house you that you need to go to, don't ever let them make you feel like you can't do that to go get your together. Don't let them think that. Because when I Well, that's what family's for though. They're they're there to help you in case you do hit rock bottom or you have nowhere to go to. I moved out after spending my highest I had just bro. We were on our way to Miami and I had funds from promos, whatever I was doing at that time. Tanika got locked up. I had to empty out my whole <coughs> account in one of hers. To just get her a lawyer, bro. Everything else after the lawyer, she still had to get bonded out. It got taken care of, okay? Went bonded out with money, not by me or even herself. So other people's money. Went to Miami still, and I told her, I said, when we get back in Charlotte, you know, by that time, I would have gotten my YouTube check. This is my highest YouTube check. And you say, you know I'm going to take care of you. You know I'm going to take care of us, take care of home. So don't feel like when we get back home, you're stressing, like things getting taken care of, trying to figure out what bills is coming up. I'm going to take care of them. When I moved out, I had $7 to my name. $7. I ain't trip. I ain't trip. <laughs> I did what I had to do, got my money up for the time being. That shit ran low for 30 out after 30 days then my next youth after that height after my after that youtube check my youtube checks was starting to go back down i ain't tripping i'm a little stressed out but i ain't tripping so when i moved out you were damn right i came to my daddy's house that's common sense what did you want her to do did you want her to go live in the streets to a shelter why, why would she do that if she has her dad to help her out? There's nothing wrong with help. What I wasn't going to do was sit in that house and soak up your misery, what I had did prior to me moving out. So she was already in this funk. And of course, I'm the blame. Because she ain't got no accountability and no ownership for what she going through and how she feel and how she put herself there, how she just there. It's called depression. I, I'm not diagnosing her, but I've noticed in her videos, even her um, her promotions to other people and reactions to smaller YouTubers, she w there was no energy there. 
There was no energy. Her energy has been going lower and lower and lower. And you can tell Anique was going through stuff. I noticed that. I truly believe she's going through depression. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but I think so. Because of partially her and I'm not I say because I am going through depression, so I only speak from experience. So your partner can help you make stuff better. But damn, y'all, I got tired of being the blame. Mm. I got tired of her being this victim and then trying to name call me the victim because she needed to be heard and understood. Girl, that I could share with the world. So, what I was trying to say, this whole age thing, you knew who I was when you when you met me. Not only that, <laughs> I had to deal with you and your shit when you was this same age. So, yeah, we both grew up and I I everywhere that we went, she's very mature for her age talking about me i'm very mature for my age how old am i i'm only 21 wow i like i'm 25 or 26 yeah because i was with someone that was helping me be a better person and i appreciated that i was falling in love with who i was becoming because i've always had this bad attitude and i didn't have i didn't have the right guidance when it came to how I can possibly just dress it up and she helped me find another way around it don't cool. stress about it go cool, something cool. different or just try to find a different way to just fix it That's yeah she I... helped me out with a lot and I helped her out as well something that we can't take away from each other but I'm gonna let her finish it's a two way street that's the that's whole point the about that's the whole point of being together, is you learn from each other. You learn together, you grow. If your partner's not helping you become a better person, that, that person ain't for you. You ain't got no energy left to give because you was screaming them, child. Oh no. <laughs> you ain't got no energy oh, to give. No. Because you were trying to give it at the wrong time when I was single, when I was willing i'm sorry when i was capable of doing whatever i wanted to do but you want to put all your energy into trying to check me control me hey wrong energy wrong time hey you so much energy girl everything was coming out of me while i was getting it oh she a little feisty on this video part one she was pretty calm and collective this one she's a little feisty so whatever she's saying right now is getting on her nerves and now today you can be <laughs> I gave you that. This part right here. <laughs> that bothers me too, girl. Oh my god. Girl, that bothers me too, trust me. Mm-hmm. When she said when she said she gave you confidence, oh my god, no one can give anyone confidence. You find confidence within yourself, big period. And as for as far as living with your dad, so what? It's just giving you time to build bigger. No worries, baby girl. Your time is coming and it's going to be big help. It's going to be big. Love you. Jay, keep your head up. Nothing but good vibes. Take care and stay blessed. She's got a good supportive team right now. You see, when you met me, you knew who I was. But outside of that, something led you on to, hold I want to pursue a, a relationship with me. That's me, baby. But mm -hmm. that's always been me. Mm. Go ahead. Come on now. Preacher you girl. sat across the table from my mama, my grandma. And literally, certain stuff, good and bad, you was like, I see where you get that from. It was like a brush on her shoulder at that time. Yes, baby. I gave it to you. And I'm so... <laughs> Girl, I know. Confidence. Girl, I know. Hold on. I was going to grow into who I am today. I ain't talking about what I have. I'm just talking about me. Just me, me, put me out in, in the field and just let me stand by myself. Me, who I'm going to be in that field by myself. I was going to be that anyway. And yes, you helped me be a better person, but you did not give me my life. You did not give me my smile. You did not give me my energy, my personality. Facts, you did not girl. Give me Tell her 
I know. I'm surprised. You I'm you surprised. Ain't God. For real, girl. Tell her. Glad I can't believe. I can't believe. Ne I can't. Sorry, y'all. I'm just tripping out. I can't believe Neek went that far with it. I just didn't expect that from her. Able to survive. I wanted to teach her how to survive. <laughs> because I you didn't even teach me how to survive. You taught me how to have. Yeah. You taught me how to hustle differently. True. Okay. You taught me how I can have more than just a nine to five. But see the way I'm set up. Let me give you a little bit of background story of where I come from. Tell us, girl. My daddy always been a hard worker. He all. So we never get to hear Jay's story. Neek's and Neek's uh, channel in Royalty's World, she talks a lot about different things. But we never really get to hear Jay talk about her life and her family, really. Always had Deep a job. job. Whether it was third shift, first shift, he always had a job. Mm. My mom, she always had a job too, and to a certain, uh, to a certain point. My mom was a whole lot of entrepreneur. What does she do? I don't know, it don't even matter. <laughs> When I'd be needing her, when my little brother needs her, <laughs> we are able to go to her. And it may be a no, I can't do it now. Mm -hmm. Or randomly, I couldn't do it then, but I can do it now. So here it is. Bam. My mama is a, is a hustler herself, a grinder herself. She's an entrepreneur right now. You don't necessarily have to go through a struggle to learn how to survive. You can also learn from the people around you what to do and what not to do in life. So you didn't teach me how to survive. Cause I was going to survive anyway. When you met me, I was staying with my dad, but I had my, I'm gonna save that story for, for the end. Ooh, but you didn't teach me how to survive. You just taught me how to hustle a little differently. How I can just have more than a nine to five, but see how I'm set up. Uh, I want it all. Mm. I'm so energetic. I've got all this energy and all this time that I know how to prioritize and really time manage everything. Oh, I can go to that job, come right back and hustle and do some more. <laughs> okay. Went to a nine to five, got off that nine to five. It, yeah, come on now, whoever is new, whoever been on my channel since the beginning of me putting out videos in the car all the time with them ugly ass fucking thumbnails and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, I was doing YouTube and doing Instacart at the same time. When I didn't have an Instacart order, I was pulled over on the side of the road somewhere editing my video. Mm. Do what you gotta do. Uploading the video. So I was grinding and I was hustling. Mm. Putting in that work for the things that I wanted. What I wasn't gonna do is not. Which is what I'm doing right now. And it's crazy because I always reach my goals. Always. The only thing I haven't reached yet is this damn YouTube. And I'm, I've am i been doing YouTube for two years on the vlogging channel, Bliss and Pris. Been doing this for a few months on Bliss Uncensored. It's, it's beating my ass, I ain't gonna lie. But it's not gonna make me stop. You just gotta keep, you just gotta keep on doing it until people notice you. No way, I, it, to this day, there's no way I can just sit here and just straight out do YouTube. It's too much time in a day. If I can go work for four hours and make some money, a whole, a whole bag yep. and have the other eight hours. Mm. to make of it what I want to. Facts. I'm doing. Do it, girl. I do it. For sure. Yeah. yeah. You can do both. No how to survive. You get what I'm saying? If I don't know how to do nothing. And again, we, <laughs> unfortunately, the way her life was set up for her, she had to have those survival lessons and moments to learn how to survive. But you didn't teach me how to survive. I didn't need a survival lesson. We, we had some moments where we had to survive. I don't want that to sound contradictive. Like, she didn't have to, it's nothing that she taught me. Like, okay, I taught you this, now go do it on your own. We had such a, 
a compromising uh whatever you want to call it we compromised so much that basically like if times got hard for the both of us we were communicating about that and we were able to handle it together because we helped each other right survival is what i could do <clears throat> so we went through all that you know what i'm saying um relationship stuff i still want to explore. so my lips are kept too and the other day we had a situation let me put some on right now because to pay a bill Right? Y'all wondering why we're here. You're gonna have to Cause it ain't cute with we'll having chapped lips on camera. Before she talks. Tanika wanted to pay a bill. She was up at whatever time in the morning that she was up. I had, I wasn't even in town. I was out of town. Up all night. Literally didn't go to sleep till about 5 o'clock that morning. So I didn't wake up till 11 o'clock a.m. Baby girl texts me 10.02. Call 10.02. Call at 10.08, 10.09. And then... She up making Instagram stories. Y'all, I'm just trying to pay my bill. This bitch won't answer the phone. What? Okay, so now, okay. Now we're getting to the phone bill, which started the whole thing. I'm asleep. Sway. So that's why, Neek, you were already pissed off not knowing the situation. If the girl was asleep, I mean, what'd you expect her to do? How is she going to answer your phone calls if she's sleeping? Linda, Steve, Jacob, Ashley. Bliss. But I read her message, she needed a pen. <clears throat> I don't. So let's talk about this pen situation. Let's talk it. I had already changed the pen prior to any of I'm talking about two weeks in advance, changed the pen. But before I changed that pen, I asked that sales rep in my face. I have right here, Tanika Greer. She's on this account as well. I mean, you see that. She has these devices. When I change this pen, can she come in without my pen and make a payment? Absolutely, ma'am. Okay. I appreciate it. Well, I just want to pay my bill. And when she made her first bill payment, um, I had to do a payment arrangement. Because I needed some more time to come up with my portion of the bill. So, I did a payment arrangement. I was on the phone with customer service for so long. She broke down the bill. She told me what my fee was going to be, what her fee was going to be. And I did, I text her and I didn't want the text message. Free Verizon message, a payment arrangement for 287 on September 14th has been set. Your bill is 151 minus 136. I text her and I didn't want the text message to be confusing. So I literally set it up like, Payment arrangement this day. My bill is, your bill is. It was okay. 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 So come time for us to pay the bill, I go in there. I'm like, yes, I'm here to pay this. I gave him amount. I'm here to pay this amount. He let me pay that amount. She then texts me some few hours later. Yeah, I went and I only paid this amount. I'm like, I think I said like, hold on or how. And I think I tried to go do some investigation on it. I ain't had no time. I was like, you know what? Whatever. But then it started to sit on me like, I hope she's not trying to run off on her bill. Because that's what happened to the T-Mobile line. It ran off on the bill. Because as she already confessed, she was financing and doing all this kind of stuff. So her portion of the bill was high. And she didn't want to pay it. I get it. How can I help you, Sway? How can I help you to still help myself? Whatever. So we went to, to we went to Verizon. So I'm at work. Let me tell you how she set up. Let me tell you why. And still, the, what I'm about to tell you, this happened before I changed the pen. I'm at work. I'm getting calls, 1-800 numbers, and I got some shit in the collection, so I thought they were trying to get the bitch. <laughs> I asked. But then Nick called me. Oh, man. And I'm like always, like she say, hand and foot. I'm always hand and foot to her as well. Every call, every text. What do you need? What is it? What the apartment situation? Pick me up. Y'all were too dependent on each other. That clinginess, that was the problem. Look, I'll help you find the apartment. Call me. She was already in the Verizon store. 
The Verizon store had about maybe 30 minutes before they closed. I don't know exactly. But she was already in the Verizon store talking to a sales rep. She had basically said, um, yeah, I came up here to see if I can get my own line, and I can. So, basically, uh, I got the sales rep right here, and I need your permission to change the line. Well, goddamn, Sway! <laughs> Did I have a problem with her getting her own line? Hell no. But where was the communication to where I'm not blindly stepping in some shit? Like... That's true because if Neek didn't need that pin from Jay, she would have gotten her line behind her back without even talking about how she's leaving her line. I, I guess I can see that. Uh, she would come bring me a contract and just tell me to sign it. And it's like, well, damn. We ain't gonna talk about the contract, what's in the contract, and... If somebody getting split, I've never had to deal with a split line. Somebody getting split off the line, me getting split off the line. So I don't, of course, I don't want to be left with your bill, your responsibilities. I don't want a hundred dollar extra fee charge to be added because I didn't, I didn't know about it. So, but I'm on the phone. Let, let, let's get back to it. I'm on the phone with her, and I'm like, well, yeah, I, I get permission. <laughs> okay, man. Well. Um, I just need your pen, and I'll give you a call right back as soon as we're ready to do, to do the switching of the line. I got a call back. Yeah, ma'am, I just wanted to call you back and just let you know that we weren't able to proceed with the, uh, taking her off your line because you haven't had the phone for 30 days. But as soon as you have the phone for 30 days, which would be September 23rd, you'll be able to, to take her off the line. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, I'm talking about, I, I, I'm talking about in advance, y'all. I'm not even trying to bother her. I'm not trying to bother her. I'm not trying to have no communication with her. I'm like, bro, I'm going to wait until this day. And I, I'll send my text message because I don't want to text her today when it's boo cool early and it's, it's just kind of like, I don't want to have to repeat myself. I want to say it when it's relevant, you, you get it, you understand it, we move forward. As soon as I find out when the next bill is due, I text her. I told her how much the bill was going to be. She said, when is the day? They trying to call you to get me off your line. The bill has to be paid. I already called. What bill? I thought we just paid it. Remember I had got it extended to we, to we were playing it late. Paying it late. <laughs> The bill get pay, pay the line gets split. The sooner the cheaper the individual lines will be. I'm aware of it. If it gets paid, it can be split. Yeah, just tell me how much it is and the dates, please. And exact dates, if you don't have it, I'll just go there tomorrow. October 1st, 156. Ace. She but she did tell her already how much, what, how much her portion was going to be. I was like, when is the dates and the amount? I texted her. She said, okay. Come September 23rd. Prior to that day, I've already called customer service on the phone for a whole hour. I'm talking about the best customer service I've ever had. Answer all questions. I'm talking about repetitive questions. I should have kept all them sticky notes. I had about six sticky notes of the bill being broke down. He let me know how it was a credit that was uh, given for her line, which is why she had only paid $100 when prior to, to the other bill. Cool. We had, we couldn't import our old numbers over at, in the beginning, so we were still making a payment from the old, the old temporary lines. It, it wasn't that much, like maybe $14. Now, what I'm about to say has nothing to do with this video, but I have coffee in here, iced coffee, um, to keep me up only because I have very low energy. My vitamin D is horrible. But I have to smoke a little bit of CBD because coffee does give me anxiety. So because of that, I need a little bit, little bit of this to balance me out, so. <laughs> Just in case you guys are curious, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't shit. We have unlimited, that's already 86. So here comes the 23rd. And I'm at, I'm at work. So the 23rd is when we could split the lines. The bill wasn't due until the 30th. So it's 
So on the 23rd, I'm at work. Tanika texts me. They trying to call. And, and I was getting. They try. Okay. We saw this. Calls. I answered. Because I didn't know what this was. They want 800. I didn't know what this was. I answered. Matter of fact, I was so busy at work. I didn't even feel a vibration of a missed call. When I got a break, I seen she texted me because she's on hot alerts. My phone don't ring, don't don't vibrate, don't bling, none of that, none of that. Okay, so I, I finally see you know what I'm saying she had texted me, so I respond back, and she was basically let me know that they were trying to call me to split the line. So I had let her know that the line can't be split until the bill is paid. Okay, so I already asked them about it. So the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So there was four days in between, from splitting the line to paying the, the last bill. So she, I'm thinking she just wants to make sure that she pays that bill first before she splits the line. So Nick could have waited four more days. I don't think it was that much big of a deal. So I, I don't know, like I said, misunderstanding, miscommunication, or just damn pride. She was like, wait, what bill? We just paid the bill. I was like, yeah, but remember I had extended the bill. So we ended up paying that bill late, but the new bill is here coming up. She was like, okay, just tell me how much it is. This is what she was like, okay, just tell me how much it is. When they says, you don't know, I'm just going to go up there tomorrow. I already had it. I said, I said October 1st, 156, because that's what the sales rep told me. I get a text message from Verizon and my upcoming bill. So I'm, I'm calling customer service. Literally, my time was all over the place. I was rushing, doing pretty much everything. So I'm on the phone. I'm like, uh, so I talked to a sales rep not too long ago and he told me that I had until October the 1st to pay my bill but I received a message I was like is there any way I can get that extra 24 hours to pay my bill because I was just on time management I really had no time to go in no store and I'm going in the store and paying the fucking bill I ain't had time to go in the store and pay the bill the lady was kind of being kind of, she was kind of being kind of nasty kind of rude but she let me know man your bill is due today I said okay no problem I go across the street because I was literally in the mall in Victoria's Secret trying to use my credit card. <laughs> she said she had no time. She had no time. Give me 24 more hours. But the store's across the uh, across from her. She's chilling in Victoria's Secret. She's funny. So I go across the street to pay the bill. <laughs> I walk in. What are you here for, ma'am, to pay a bill? Okay, we'll be right with you. Can I have the phone number of the account? Yes. Can I have your license? Yes. Okay. And do you know how much you're in here to pay today? Yes, sir. I'm here to pay $156. I'm going to do $111 on my card and $45 cash. Here's your receipt, ma'am. Have a good day. Boom. Prior to me going to pay that bill, I text her. I said, bill, I said the bill is due today. Bill due today or a late fee will be added, then I'll split you off. You ready to pay yours? already doing it. I'll be on the way to Verizon shortly and I'll let you know when my portion is paid. Okay. Everything like every it looks like everything's turning out pretty good. She asked me, "Are you ready?" I said, "I'm in the process right now." She texts me, "I'll be on my way to Verizon in a in a while or in a few, whatever." She was going to be on her way to Verizon. She was going to let me know when she had finished paying it so that I can split the line. And I don't even know that's bad. But damn, I ain't gonna lie. I'm at work. We done died down. I'm checking my phone like, damn. She she texted and said she paid the bill. I ain't gonna trip. So I got off work. I went out of town. This is when I wake up. And it's like, I need a pen. Well, Sway, you supposed to pay the bill yesterday. Uh. But I also told her, like, the bill was due. And if it's not paid, Lacey was gonna be char charged. So when she telling me that she needed a pen, Hold on, let me call Verizon real quick. I'm like, ma'am, from my understanding, I had a bill that was due yesterday, but I have an I have another user on my account. That Active user, Tanika. That's trying to make a payment. Is there any late fees? Oh, so she is active. Her name is on there and everything. So that means... So when she made that phone call about having to need the pin, the lady asked, is, are you active on the account? And it says that Tanika is active. So why did she need the pin then? Because the sales rep that she spoke to over the phone said you don't need the pin.
Cause I'm gonna let her know, look, you need to pay them late fees too. Since you wanna be late. But the man let me know, no ma'am, the, the bills, uh, the leftover balance is still 156 and it seemed as if that bill was due on September the 30th, which was the day before that. Right. So I'm letting her know, look, you don't need a pen because I don't trust her. Remind you, she already had me on the phone with customer service agreeing to split the line like, damn. They're catching you up, You guard. couldn't send me a text like, yo, is it cool if... I have Verizon call you and get to split the line. Out of the yeah, that is a little weird. I would find that a little odd too. Like, you know me, I don't know that rep. Talk to me first, let's come to a mutual understanding, and then we can go ahead and take the steps. Like, yeah, just let me know when so I can step outside. Versus having them blow me up and I'm thinking it's collations and then you call <laughs> me and you already stand beside the rep and it's just kind of like, I mean, either way, God, I, I really didn't have no problem with her getting off the line. I didn't have no problem with her getting off the line. So, <clears throat> I'm letting her know, like, bro, I, she even said, she told me that she was going to have her. I'll go back in here, but him put him uh, I don't know what that means if you like that's fine so I want god I can't read so I want this to be over with as much as you so let me know what you decide bill is 157 send me the money and I'll pay because you don't have my pen after you pay Verizon will contact me to release your line go in the store and pay with a rep that's it or send a cash app dead I tried you lying I just verified it numerous of times send the money man and then there's voice messages that we can't hear. Cash app, the 157, send the money. You don't have to go back to the store. Girl, I'm not sending you 157, dead. Damn, so now they've already gotten to the point where they don't even trust each other now. Neek don't want to send her money because she feels that it's not in her best interest to send her money directly. Jay doesn't want to give her the pin because she thinks it's her best interest not to give it to her because she'll run off on the line. This is crazy. They have no trust in each other anymore. Her sales rep call me. Never call. I told her to cash at me. I would have made the payment. And then split the line. That's dead is what she said. You're doing the absolute most, making shit up and hard when it's only three options. Send the money and I'll pay myself. You pay inside the store or have them call you, like I said. It doesn't seem like Jay is being combative. I mean, there is, there are three options for her to pay that damn bill. And she couldn't pay inside the store because she needed the pen, supposedly. Or have them call, like you said. And I don't know what happened with that. And she didn't want to give her the money. So they're making it, they're, they're making it more difficult than what it is. Dead. That's dead. Okay, what's another option, Jadea? Oh! Let me just call customer service. I'm about to get my own line. If you don't cooperate, I have shit to do. If you don't want to be an adult, goodbye. It's five stores where you at, so which one you at? Like, can, you can make a payment without my pen. I'm on the phone with Verizon. They're about to call the store you at. It's five stores where you at, so which one you at? What store you at? <laughs> Bro, you're making me feel like you're going to do some lame shit and not take me off this line, so I'm not about to pay this bill and get my own line. The number you using was off my line. You are, you are about crazy. Pay this damn bill and I'm splitting the line like what? This is ridiculous. Let me tell you why this, this is all ridiculous. They're both making it bigger than what it is. And what's crazy is that it has to deal with trust issues. It's, it's a trust issue that they have with each other. Because what they both want to do is the same damn thing. They both want Neek to pay the bill. And they both want Neek to get off the line and get her own. So they both want the same damn thing. But because of pride and trust issues, they're not letting it happen. Oh my goodness gracious. Man, I have someone that's trying to make a payment. They're having problems. Does she need my pen? No, she does not need your pen. She's at a corporate store. She does not need a pen. I don't know why she's showing videos of her calling. Of course, if you call. Yeah, you need a pen if you call. You don't need no pen. 
If you in the stove, Linda. But you weren't even at no Verizon stuff. You wasn't even talking to And I didn't even catch that until she told me privately in messages. She told me that. I didn't even pay attention to the tag until it said that. That's funny. No Verizon rep. That man name tag said go wireless, sis. <laughs> go wireless. That was a good catch, though. Yeah. It may say Verizon on the wall because you had a third party store. Uh, authorized. You're That's why she needed the pen. Stop playing with me. His name tag did not say Verizon. His name tag said go, go wireless. So here she is making a video and doing all these angles. <laughs> yeah, you seen Verizon on the wall, but that man name tag did not say Verizon. Bam. He was for go wireless. So yeah, he needed a pen so he mm -hmm. could get into an account that he not even working for. Right. You trying to tell me. Right. You could do all this running around, but you can't go to, to a, a corporate Verizon. store, mm -hmm. but you want to get in my pen because I don't trust you. The trust was, was gone. I'm telling you, I'm good with, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not psychic or anything, but I'm good at, at people, inter at human interaction and, and physical um, communication and, and facial expressions. I'm just really good with this stuff. I don't know why. I have respect. I still have had respect, even though you have been harassing me, bro. Trying to check me, trying to control me, manipulating me. I, I have respect for you. I had respect for you. Ooh, there's gonna be a part the three. Only thing that's fraud from you. Oh shit. Just focus on you, baby girl. Oh no. Part three. This is something then oh they're about to expose some fraud fraudulent activity. Whatever that may be. But I'm curious to know, so you know what I'm saying? I'm a reaction channel, so I'm all about this life right now. <laughs> All right, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also subscribe to um, my channel with my wife. It's called Bliss and Press at the end of this video. See y'all in the next video. Peace. Part three.